What's up, dude? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're finally playing Mafia 3. It came out on Friday, which is today, but for you it's Tuesday or Monday, depending on where you are. But let's get straight into it. Okay, aim assist. We'll put on low. Mafia 3 takes place in a fictionalized version of the American South in 1968. We sought to create an authentic and immersive experience that captures this very turbulent time and place including depictions of racism okay okay we find the racist beliefs language and behaviors of some characters in the game abhorrent but believe it is vital to include these de depictions in order to tell Lincoln play a story you can read the rest but I didn't get to read it I think this song is copyrighted but I don't care it doesn't matter New Bordeaux a modern city with traditional southern values. I underestimated how far he was going to go. What he was willing to do. Visit the historic French ward and enjoy local cuisine at one of our five-star restaurants. Killing them wasn't enough. Lincoln Clay was using them to send a message. Or spend the afternoon in the bayou and take in its natural splendor. Sal Marcano Whoa. had no idea what he was going to unleash. New Bordeaux. Safe. Family oriented for Make it your next vacation destination. This city survived the War of 1812, the Civil War, and God knows how many hurricanes. But when Lincoln Clay went after the mob, he inflicted more damage than all the wars and hurricanes combined. That's who we're playing as. Lincoln Clay, I'm pretty sure. Lincoln's mother abandoned him in 1947, a couple of years after he was born. His mother, I heard she was Dominican. I always figured his father was white, maybe even not Italian. Not that it mattered. Back then, if you look black, you black. Hey, Mr. Day, I suppose. He stayed at the orphanage until 1958. Now, when did you meet Lincoln Clay? 1966. I was running black ops out of Laos on behalf of the CIA. He was loaned out to me via joint CIA DOD task force. He's a quiet boy. Good boy. Two Purple Hearts, the Bronze Star, and the Distinguished Service Cross. He served his country with honor and distinction. After the city closed the orphanage, he fell in with Sammy Robinson. Sammy ran the black mob over in Delray Hollow. I can't say I approve, but often colored boys didn't have a lot of options back then. Boys like Lincoln, the ones who've been abandoned, they're always looking for a home. Always looking for a place to belong. I think he thought he'd find it in the army. Thing is, once that's lost, you never get it back again. When he returned from the war, Lincoln ended back up over at Sammy's. Now Sammy owed the Italian mob a whole lot of money. And he needed Lincoln's help. It's a damn shame what happened. It breaks my heart. Alright. Oh, this game's... I'm already pulled into the game. I'm loving this already. The story. What is this? This is really dark. I'm going to have to turn this up. This is the craziest goddamn thing I ever heard. Using real money to rob the feds. Okay. Okay. Like I can't. This is our cash. This all came from Skeletta. Besides, peanuts compared to what we're going to haul out of there. Is everything we need to burn? Yeah, that's it. I grab the keys to the truck, then we can get the fuck out of here. Okay, I can't. Oh, uh, whoops. Keys in the other room. Grab them so we can get the hell out of here. 
I can't turn the brightness up for some reason. I don't know why. Oh, hold it. Still not what sure the? about leaving him like this. He came through with the truck just like we asked. Even the grease is part to make it look good. Oh. You got doubts. I take the chance. No, what? Wait, what? B. Oh! I. Oh! I. I didn't know. Oh. I didn't know I was going to kill him. I thought we were going to talk to him. I don't know why I still have this body though. I like how you can do other, like, interact with other stuff while holding him though. That's cool. We should get going. You got the keys so you can drive. Okay. Come on, let's get the hell out of I'm here. I'm taking my friend Jeff. How do I get out of here? Where's the door? Ah, oh, here. <laughs> it's right over here. Come on, mate. Come on. Okay. We're going to take Jeff here. He's having a sleep, so we're going to take him home. Okay, we're going to leave him. Fuck you. Get a move on. Let's go. You, you lay the ad in the open. Oh, come on, start. Good, it started. Okay, so that's how you change that. Turn this off. Take it easy here in the town. We don't need the cops crawling our asses. That's so lovely. I can actually see where I'm going now. Mm. My old man wanted us to keep one of the guards alive, help throw the feds off the trail. Like you said, I take a chance. Besides, if I learn anything from being over at Nam, someone's willing to flip sides once, they're probably willing to do it a second time. Fuck you in the process. So answer me this. What's the craziest thing you saw over there? You don't want to know. Hell, man, I'm a taxpayer. I got the right to know how my money's being spent. Oh, Georgie Marcano pays taxes. Damn right I do. That's how they got Al Capone, and I ain't going to prison for no fucking tax bill. Huh. So come on, you gonna answer the question or what? We, uh... We on the coast of Quang Nai. Evacuating the civvies for Charlie overran everything. Anyway, we getting them onto a medical ship, and this woman walks up. She got a baby in one hand, and the leash to a pig in the other. She starts up the ramp, and the MP stops her and tells her, you can only bring one thing on board. So she tosses the baby into the water. MP goes ape. Tells someone dive in after the kid, starts screaming at the woman, wants to know what the fuck she's thinking. You know what she says to him? She says, I can always have another baby. Jesus what the fucking Christ. Hey man, you asked. What? <laughs> yeah, but I thought you were gonna tell me a story about some goop getting his dick blown off or something. I mean, god damn. It's not a fault. But not like you think. Conditions over there, man. Jesus Christ. One day you're raising cattle, tending your rice. Next day everything bombed flat. You put people up against the wall, they will do anything to survive. That better been one delicious fucking pig. What the far? That's so messed up, bro. He threw the kid over the boat. Oh, we're just gonna have another baby, I guess, you know. But, oh, that's messed up, man. This game is beautiful as well. Look at it. Like, oh, my God. I'm so hyped to see what this story turns out to be. Because this is already, like, in like insane. So, it's interesting, I should say. What the, no, shut up. Oh, we're turning right. Watch out. Anyway, guys at the Missouri probably won't be too keen on you waltzing around with that piece of yours. I'll just leave it under the seat. Okay. Oh, I really like these um the GPS in this as well. How so is on the side of the road, like the arrows. See if these forged IDs are worth a fuck. All right. See what's going down at the police station. Please work. Back it up to the loading dock. Oh, yes. What did we steal? I didn't really look at it because it was like white. Some of these fellas might get a little uh, rough with the language and. Well, ain't like I never been called nigger before. Nah, I know, but I'm just saying if I go along with it, ain't nothing poison. Maybe 
The only thing I care about is getting our hands on that money. Oh, okay, okay, I know, I know what we're doing. We're gonna go down there, steal the money to come up with the bags. All right, let's do this. Roll out. When I say something about being hot, that's when we make our move. All right. We got no money. How do we have no, no money at all? No, I don't want to. Okay. Said I did. Excuse me? Affirmative action. You know how it is. Old country is spinning around a goddamn toilet. These people don't like me, do they? Why is it red on this? Are you going to come or what? You can follow me. As for you, go on and grab those bags off the truck. You'll be carrying them to the burning room. What? How much y'all bring in? $238,546. Small bills <laughs> mostly. I'll let Miss Gale call up your office when we're done. How many bags can we take? Oh, two. All right. Appreciate it. Okay. These people are going to be really racist during like, this mo uh, movie. Yeah, movie. This is the game, so. Oh. need to check that scatter gun. You packing anything? Still in training. Good. One less goddamn thing for me to worry about. You can pick it up on the way out. I just lied to the guy. I do have a gun. I put it out earlier. Buying rooms down in the cellar. This way. I ain't seen y'all around these parts before. Y'all was over in Georgia for a while. He just got out the service. Yeah. And my cousin's been trying to get on Lou for a year now. Was in the Navy for two tours. Got medals falling out of his ass. Government tells him thanks, but no thanks. That's a crock of shit if I ever heard one. Sad day when a God-fearing white man can't get a job. That old nigga who staggers in is hiding on the spot. Wow, okay, okay, this is gonna be really racist. I didn't expect it to be this racist. Are you, what are you doing? Come on, I gotta follow you, don't I? Thank you, I don't know why everything takes so long to like open up. You bastards better not be playing with each other back there. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> Christ, look at that. Didn't know y'all held that much gold. That Washington's been shuffling around on account of the war. It's here, and it gets sent to Dallas, and it comes back. Yeah, it doesn't make a lick of goddamn sense. Here we are. What are we doing? Put those bags on the table there. Okay, so it is money, alright. Why do we get so many but only bring two? Figured it'd be bigger. I guess the job done. Why are they burning the money? Problems when the flu clogs up. Fuck. That's some heat right there. Used to use coal for it, but a year or so back we switched over to oil. Maintains a more consistent flame. Yeah, some guy come around the house trying All right, to switch. Let's go. I'm just trying to look over here, right? I told him I wasn't interested. I'm just trying to look at these blue pins. God, I broke him. Jesus. They're fragile. Used to be we'd have a nigga come in with a hose, wash all the shit off the walls. Oh, mate, you know what? Screw you. Oh, oh my god, okay, okay. That escalated way too quickly. God, that guy was an asshole. Yeah, he was. We need to move. Danny and Ellis should be coming up anytime Can I now. Put him in. Uh, give me a second. <clears throat> okay, no, it didn't work. All right. Now right, you take care of those guards. Keep your ass down. You don't want them getting a drop on us. All right. I know what the fuck Move. I'm doing. Iris, all right. Right stick. Ooh. All right, let's go. Oh, there's one there. Hey. You know that house we've been renting out? Called over there last night. Told them I wanted to sell it. I told them they needed to be out in two weeks. And the man, his name's uh, John, starts laying into me, saying the lease gives them the right to a 30-day notice. That's how he's supposed to find a new place in two weeks. So I tell him none of that's my goddamn problem. It's my property, and I'll do with it what I please. And if it brings up that fucking lease again, I'll use it to wipe my ass and make it meet. Not only that, 
I know he's friends with a couple of niggas. And they go over oh. at night and play cards. Don't Why? They moved in that I wouldn't tolerate niggas on my property. Bro, you can't just that throw the word around. Me. Want to know the kind of people I associate with. Let the niggas play cards with other niggas. <laughs> Fucking assholes. Sorry. It just gets my blood boiling. Dude, you can't just throw the N word around like that. Like, god damn. Fucking exhausted. You didn't say anything. Oh, I need that gun. Oh! I don't want to shoot this guy yet because it's going to alert everyone. Oh, mate. Okay, go this way. Hello. Oh, stretch that, 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 that tricep. Now you're dead. Fuck you. Oh, God, his body's glitching out. Give me that. LB, alright. Oh, so they have a full new. Oh, that's mad. Alright, good. Also the weapon though. Get over here, man. Where? I'm already over here before you were, but alright. Oh yeah. Oh, I hope this domination skeleton got us is legit. <gasps> Yo. Alright, go for it, Godzilla. Why do you call me Godzilla for? What's in here? If that's gold out here, what would be in here? Holy fucking shit. Okay, a lot. Wow. It's beautiful. Holy shit. Jackpot boys. Oh shit. Damn it. You triggered the fucking alarm? Shit, I didn't notice this cage was on a different system. Ah. We're gonna hold off the guard until Danny's done drilling. Hey, you gonna pull this off. We better, mate. What's your name? We haven't learned his name yet, have we? I don't think think we have. Alright, let's fuck Get in cover. What are you doing? Get out of my cover. What are you doing? Are you, are you just going to stand there? Excuse me. This is where I'm taking cover. You move. You're the AI. You listen to me. Oh god, this new uh, shooting reticle. How do I reload? Oh, did they just spawn there? Or was that an elevator? Oh shit. Oh, come on. Oh, you can break him. That helps. I've got no ammo. I've got... Hey, I'm... Um, Georgie? I, I can't protect you. I've got no ammo. Where do I get ammo from? I need ammo. How am I meant to do... I've got no ammo. Is there like ammo boxes around somewhere? No. Give me ammo, mate. You have ammo? No. Fuck. How am I meant to do this? I got no ammo. Um. Can I have. I'm just going to stand. You're going to die, just so you know. I got no ammo. Wait a minute. How do I get it? How do I get to that? I think I have to run out here and like seduce him. There's a guy over there. Okay, so they've got us locked down here, eh? Um. Right, can you get off the wall? Get off the wall. Come here. Ah! Die. Give me your weapon. Why does this guy sound like a suppressed day? Come on. Wait, he's behind me? How are you behind me, bro? How did he get behind me? Where did he come from? 
Am I dead? <laughs> Alright, I am dead. Oh shit, alright. Come on, kill him. Fuck, bro. Why are you run out of ammo so fast in this mission? Oh. So. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh shit, reload. Come on. There we go, there we go. Where does he come from? Honestly, that's so stupid where he comes from. Where the fuck does he come from, bro? Like, where does he actually come from, this guy? Alright, I know that. Like, is he here the whole time or some shit? He must have been or something like that. I don't know. Oh, what? Okay, we'll take this. It's in there more than this more than the mini, uh, Tommy gun. I gotta go back to him. All right. Why are we going back to you? We gotta get out of it. Damn, we shall kick the hornet's nest this time. Only way we walk out of here is if we get the weapons stored in that armory. Bust the door open. I'll watch our asses. Oh shit! All right. My old man gonna shit a brick when he hears about this. Fuck! Fuck! Come on, open! Open it, bro. Open it. Oh, we gotta help him. Give me that damn thing. Get out of here, white boy. <laughs> let me, let me do it. Set one is supposed to lock, rotate until it's screen. So to put a lock, press X when. All right, so it's like pick locking. It'd be great if we could actually look at it. Thank you. Where's the? Oh my god, that's like tiny. Oh, okay, okay. There we go. Oh, that's really cool. I like that. I like that mechanic. Set this. I take the big gun for the big man. And I take the little gun because you don't need anything. And I think that's all we can take. Oh wait, there's health here. No! There's health here. I need that. No, actually, no, I don't. Ah! Let me out. Stay close to the vault. Watch for the drill. I'll deal with these assholes. We can do this up, can't we? What do you think he's doing? Well, Sammy had men all over the place. And one of them worked at a cleaners and stole the uniforms Georgie Marcano and Lincoln Clay wore on the day of the robbery. Another one was a janitor at the Federal Reserve, and he provided a rough layout. The robbery of the Federal Reserve was timed perfectly, and none of it would have been possible without the involvement of Sammy Robinson, Lincoln Clay, and the rest of the black mob. All right. Oh, now we've gone back to the week before. All right, all right. Also, that was on, done on Mardi Gras. All right, so that's like the big festival. You just come from Vietnam? Yep. That's right. I was a Marine in the Pacific. You take it from me. Just because you're home doesn't mean you're back. You understand? People around here, they don't... They don't get it. Never will. <laughs> Keep your ass out of trouble. Oh, that's nice. Oi. Right. Sorry I'm late. Got caught up crossing the bridge. Don't worry about it. Excuse me, sir. I'm looking for my stepbrother, Lincoln Clay. You seen him? He used to get ticked off if you were even a minute late. Kiss my ass. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> How was the trip? Is how this is the first time in four years, and somebody telling me where to go, what to do, or how to do it. It was fucking great. <laughs> mm. What's new with the old man? Man, don't even get me started on pops. He used to pull his head out of his ass. Same as ever then. Brother, you have no fucking idea. Damn, Ellis. She's looking good. <laughs> Just like I left her. Man, even I know not to fuck around with your cop. All right, come on. I'm ready to go home. Why would you throw the bottle for? Mm. That's loitering. You're going to get in trouble for that. 
Oh, we're driving. All right. So we gotta find where we come. This map is massive, by the way. Look at it. It's so big. So we're driving all the way over here. You say he's doing all right. Ever since we got your telegram about coming home, we've been climbing the walls. What if the plane crashes? What if the train's delayed? What if they call him back? And he goes stand in front of the kitchen window and sip his whiskey like he was expecting you to come strolling up the sidewalk. Don't say nothing about me telling you that. I won't. He'll be fine once he sees you. Ever since Mama Hell, you know how he gets. Is that all you're going to say to me? All right. The cars really feel really nice in this as well. Like they're not really light, like the like Mafia 2. They actually have weight to them, which is good. I like and the the, the cinematics in this are really. What's this? Okay, yeah, I'm about to run a red light. Yeah. You remember Marty and Ron Langford? Sure. They moved up to Empire Bay a year or so after you shipped out. Started selling weed. They call and ask me if I want something. I say, sure. It's free money as far as I'm concerned. Anyhow, a month back, Marty drops me a line that says they're moving into heroin, that they're looking for a partner down around these parts. Can't imagine Sammy was too keen on that. I never told him about the weed. That ain't nothing to nobody. But this, I got to talk to him about. I ain't said more than three words, and he's yelling about, fuck it, it's your car. Bash it up all you want. Anyway. I ain't said more than three words and he's yelling about the feds. How we don't need J. Edgar up our asses and what the fuck am I thinking? Selling dope with kids running around the neighborhood. We ain't selling no dope to no children. <laughs> like they got any money to begin with. Fucking around the side. Aaron was pretty serious shit. Knew a couple guys over in Nam who were running it. Wound up pissing off the wrong person. Got their throats cut. Shit, man, I know what's what. That's why I'm talking to Georgie about it. There's no way Sal's gonna go along with that. Georgie says he can keep his old man from fighting out. We'll still clear the high low in Frisco, just selling the French wall. Georgie's Uncle Lou won't say shit as long as we give him a taste of the action. I don't know, man. Georgie's a cool cat and all, but heroin ain't the kiddie pool. Come on in with us. I bet he'd agree to a three-way split. <sighs> I don't know. I kind of need to lay low a bit, figure some things out. Yeah, all right. I won't leave the video here guys, if you guys enjoyed it leave a like, if you want to see more subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video, stay positive.